Okay, so on to our fourth question. Estimate the pKa values of the functional classes represented by the given molecules. Uh, so this question just shows a lot of different molecules, and it wants us to kind of estimate what their pKa values are. Okay, so first I'm just going to write down what pKa is. So it measures how acidic your uh, compound may be. And basically, the lower the pKa value, the more acidic your compound is. And basically, when you have a more acidic compound, this means that it's more likely to donate H+. Okay, so depending on the type of functional group that you have, uh, these different functional groups correspond to different pKa values. Um, so I'm going to write out a table uh, that shows uh, from least acidic to more acidic, and also what their corresponding pKa values are. Um, so I'm not saying you should memorize these values, but it, it's just good to know like the trend that you may see. So let's just say for the functional group that contains an sp3 hybridized carbon, typically has a pKa of around 50. Next, for sp2 hybridized carbons, its value is around 44. Amine groups, 38. So again, I'm not saying you should memorize these values, but it, it's just good to see the kind of trend that you get. And you start, like the more you do these questions, you start to memorize uh, what their pKa values are. So I'm just going to write them all down. SP hybridized carbons around 25. I'm just going to do the same table down here. For ketones, pKa is around 20. Alcohol groups are around 16. For water, it's around 15.7. So you can find these kind of tables online. Sometimes they're given to you um, in the question. For protonated amines, it's around 10. Carboxylic acid groups, it's around 5. So you can see that the functional groups are tend to be more acidic now. Positive OH group is the most acidic, and it has a pKa of 2. Okay, so going back to our question, we have six compounds there. First one is an alcohol group. So since these values are in uh, multiples of 5, we can say that this is around 15. Just looking at the table that I made for this carboxylic acid group, it's here, so it's around 5. It's on the more acidic side. Next is this protonated amine group. 
minutes here, so it'll be around 10. And next, this is an example of sp hybridized carbons. So it's pKa around 50, so that shows that for this functional group, it's not likely to donate any of its protons. It's very happy uh, where it is. It's a very stable uh, molecule. The next is this terminal alkyne group. So alkyne is when there's a triple bond. This is an example of sp hybridization. So its pKa value is around 25. And lastly, we just have this amine group. And just write down N3. This is a secondary amine. So I'm just gonna say that it's around. So I'm just gonna verify the answer here. So they had 15, 5, 10, 50. 25 and 40. So therefore, this answer is correct. On to our next question.